Oh my God, Heidi, I'm so excited to meet you. What a great play that's now streaming on Amazon Prime Video. You know, when you first hear Constitution, you're like, mm, okay, let me check it out. <laughs> or you're like, oh no, <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah. So uh, you did this in high school, I believe. You were, um, you took part, what do they call this, this contest? So it's called the American Legion Oratory Contest, but basically it's a, you know, a constitutional contest. You can, you can rack up money to go to college by giving wow. you this. Yeah. And so it's basically like your show, like you, there's counterpoints and arguments about the constitution. So it's exactly like that. Yeah, basically it's mostly like my show in that in order to win, you really had to find a personal connection between your own life and the constitution. Like mm -hmm. that was the idea. The better you were at that, at sort of weaving a personal story right. into your speech, the better chance you had of, of winning. Um, so the show is me trying to do that as an adult woman now that I've, you know, lived through a lot of things. Yeah, I mean, this show is so important right now because there's a lot of talk about the constitution right now, especially with uh, Amy Coney Barrett. Yeah. Um, now on the Supreme Court, and she's known as an originalist, right? Yeah, yes, yeah, she is. Yeah, originalism has become suddenly very popular again. Uh, I personally, as you know from the show, um, support the idea, Justice Thurgood Marshall's idea of a living constitution, uh, which I think, you know, <clears throat> makes sense if you're anyone except a white man, unless you're maybe a white woman who's, you know, bought into the... <laughs> <laughs> but into the idea that that we're all somehow protected under this document. Yeah, you call it negative rights. It's basically a negative rights document. It is a right? negative rights document. Yeah, it does not give us any like specific positive or affirmative rights. Yeah. And, and so powerful what you're talking about, how it doesn't protect the woman. And you talk about your own story um, with your grandparent, with your grandmother and her abusive husband, and also about a, a current case, or not a current case, but a modern case about a woman whose ex-husband killed her kids be because the police refused to um, go after him, even, even though he had a restraining order. I mean, that's, that's devastating to hear how you, how you explain what happened, how, and the Supreme Court turned it over that he, she did not have any rights, basically. Yes. Yeah, that was one of the landmark cases, and I'm, I'm actually friends with Jessica now, with the woman involved in the case, and she's become a huge um, activist. Uh, that was one of the cases that made it very clear that the Constitution uh, was failing women uh, and failing a, a lot of people in this country. Yeah, I mean, it's just so timely right now because, you know, you talk about, a lot of people are talking about the Constitution and staying true to the origins, but what they really mean is suppressing people, right? I mean, I don't know what they really mean, but it, in my opinion, the outcome of that, of saying we're going to look at, you know, the original document and not deviate from that, the outcome then is to go back to a time, you know, when slavery existed and the only people who could participate as citizens were white male property owners, which obviously just doesn't work. We're, yeah. <laughs> that doesn't work. <laughs> oh. And... I mean, people should watch this just because it's so educational. We learn in high school, they teach you all the nice stuff, right? About the constitution. <laughs> yeah, they do. <laughs> but they don't, they don't really teach you about the ramifications that it has. No. People who are white, who are not white, women, people of color. I mean, it's just, your show is amazing. I couldn't believe it. Thank you. Thank you so much. And so what is your hope for the future? I mean, given the fact that we're in this current situation where the Supreme Court now is in the majority of, for conservatives. I mean, I hope two things. I hope, first of all, I would love to see the court uh, expanded so that it can be less uh, at the whims of, of different political parties. I would like to see it be a bigger court so that we just have um, a more, more chance at having uh, kind of equal representation. Um, but secondly, I think whatever happens tomorrow that I really, what I really hope is that more Americans and I think this is already happening, we'll realize that if we, if we want to imagine a better future for this country, like we all have to get involved. You know, democracy isn't something that happens if you're passive. Like it's, yeah. we have to pass laws at the local and state level that, that make 
this country better, that protect our climate, that protect our rights. So I, I really hope that that the people will will step up, I guess, and start to make changes in this country. I'm praying. I'm praying yeah. very hard. Yep. And, it, and you know, there's a ray of sunshine too that you bring on these two girls who are young and they're basically you, but now. Yeah, <laughs> fighting for and pro, pro and against the Constitution. So it gives you hope that the young kids are our future. Yeah, well, these young women are the smartest young people I've ever met. And I, I will say this, that it's not just that they're hope for our future, but I, I really feel being on stage with them, um, like, I understand how important it is for those of us who are older to fight for them. You know, they shouldn't have to actually shoulder the burden of making yeah. this country better. Like, it's our job to do that for them. And every night I'm on stage with these, like, fiery, hilarious, brilliant young girls, I it makes it easier for me to get up the next morning and say, I, I need to do more. I need to fight for them. Well, thank you for the show. I think it's so revelatory. And I think people should watch it because they'll, they'll understand the Black Lives Movement better because people don't really understand it and what the ramifications mean. So... I think I'll that's true. Thank you.